IV Group 4 Project Scorpions, 2014, Sam Houston High School. Pick the button! <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> All right, first of all, uh, general fun facts about scorpions. Uh, they are a bug, or an arachnid. Their diet is carnivore. Their average lifespan in the wild is three to eight years. Their average size can range between, between uh, 2.5 inches or six centimeters. The largest has been 8.3 inches or 21 centimeters. Uh, scientists aren't sure why, but scorpions are fluorescent under under ultraviolet light. As you can see, the, the sign is to a of a scorpion, an average scorpion to a teacup. They're pretty big. Uh, the kingdom is Animalia, phylum Arthropoda, class Arachnia, order uh, Scorpionis. The family, genus, and species depends on the individual specimen. Their metabolism can slow to at least one third the rate of typical arthropods. They can, they can, they can slow their metabolism enough to last on one insect a year, if they need to. Their diet consists of mainly insects, and small rodents. Uh, there are there are almost two thousand scorpion species, but only thirty or forty are strong enough to kill a person. Mainly found throughout the southern, hem southern hemisphere in deserts and jungle habitats and your shoes. Go. Uh, their population size is 2,000 species worldwide. <laughs> Most scorpions live in dry desert areas. Uh, the ones in the United States are mostly on the west coast, like Nevada. Arizona, New Mexico, and California. Their feeding habits are, scorpions are nocturnal, which means that they only feed, they only feed at night. Um, they usually don't have any diseases at all, but they're, they do carry venoms, and their uh, symptoms include extreme pain when the sting site is tapped with a finger, restlessness, convul convulsions, groping eyes, Dragon gate, um, thick tongue sensation, slurred speech, drooling, muscle twitches, abdominal pain, and cramps, and a respiratory depression. Uh, the scorpion venom is a neurotoxin. It attacks your nervous system first, which uh, which then will affect other body structures. This can take up, depending on the scorpion, from one day to fully take effect to minutes. Uh, some pictures um, of scorpions. We have uh, several. There are several different types of scorpions. From the chemistry standpoint, of the thousands of scorpions, uh, only about 25 have venom capable enough to kill a human and inflict paralysis. In general, the venom is effective for killing its prey. The venom of a, of a scorpion, like Blake said, is comprised of neurotoxins and enzyme inhibitors that can cause different reactions or effects depending on the animal it's, it, uh, it targets. The most deadly scorpion is the dead stalker scorpion, which paralyzes its prey after being stunned. Uh, the dead stalker venom contains a very small amount, I mean, a very small protein chain called chlorotoxin, only 36 amino acids long. This tiny protein has a very powerful effect though. It's perfectly shaped to, to paralyze uh, protein, the protein uh, process in your body so you feel paralysis. Go back, go back. And it's, well, it stops the, the proteins from going to your brain and stops sending signals so it paralyzes your body completely. Uh, the shape of the protein is very important. The, so that's, that's what makes it possible for us to move. And in this case, uh, it's like having a, the key to a, right, to a right lock or the puzzle piece to a right other puzzle piece. So in part, scor scorpion chlorotoxin, for example, can be folded into 256 different ways, yet 
Only one of those works correctly to block chloride channels in your muscle cells to effectively kill its prey. And when the chloride channels are blocked in your muscles, you can't move anymore, and you're in paralysis. Uh, there's some benefits of scorpion venom. For example, the, the venom can be used to cure cancer for, for brain tumors in humans. Instead of causing harm to healthy cells, it prevents the, uh, the chlorotoxin blocks the signals from the cancerous cells from spreading. Uh, scientists have also discovered ways in which the, the effects of paralysis can be used to hu on humans uh, in developing new forms of anest anesthetics. And, like for example, when in surgery, uh, here's some more pictures. Here's the death stalker scorpion. And then, the physics standpoint, the scorpion has, is an eight-legged carnivore. Size varies from two to 30 inches. It can weigh between 10 grams to 100 grams. And its top speed can be 19 kilometers per second per hour, which is the same thing as 12 miles per hour. Its structure is high, it has huge pinchers in the front. It has a curved stinger tail. <coughs> it's a nocturnal animal that hides under rocks and hunts on its prey. Their skin is shell is a shell like type of skin. It is usually solitary, which is, which means that they do not communicate with one another except for mating. <laughs> These are more pictures of scorpion. That's a works cited page. And uh, we're done.